people, my people, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take these glasses off that way I don't blind you with the reflections. I made a boo boo, so this way you don't make a boo boo. We all know that Christmas slash Hanukkah at the end of the year, the silly season, the holiday season, whatever you want to call it, is coming up on us. December 25 through to middle of January, end of summer, whichever way you want to call it, call it depending upon how much of a holiday and festival, festival festivities you want to get going. It's summer. It's We're going to be buying presents for people shortly. Okay, so I made the big boo and forgot um, one of these drinks. So I'm here because I made my boo boo to make sure you don't get it wrong at this Christmas. Now, these are the 11. It was 10 initially. I went, oh, gosh, I got one and then tacked on the 11th in no particular order and no particular deliciousness um, here are 11 drinks that you should have for Christmas now the very first one is going to be the yuzu and blood orange because that's from original spirit co and um, basically I drink it if I could put a nipple on I think that would be the next big um, innovation when it comes to drinking is that what you get is a top like this and you have like the nipple thing say which you, which you do with babies and we can just and just you know I can see it just, it's just working perhaps it's just me perhaps I'm just an alcoholic so the blood orange and yuzu from original spirit co goes down a tree drink it ice cold drink it ice just damn drink it um the next one is one that I've yet to review but I have tried and that is because they're all appearing just there. So I think I made another boo boo. They're all appearing just there. The H, the, the chai, um, seven spice chai gin from Hill Martin Distillery. I tried it um, recently and went, this is what I absolutely love about being in such a creative, risk taking um, alcohol, this, this others and spirit scene, is that. I mean, I drink my chai with ginger. I would never have thought of making a gin out of it. It is absolutely delicious. Thank you to the guys at Hill Martin that I'm likely going to get your name wrong. It's Gavin or Glenn or George or Jim. I think it's Gavin. Um, moving right along, the first of the Port Phillip distilleries is actually um, Hell's Bells because it's Christmas and bells are ringing. Ding, 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 ding. Um, go and check out the uh, 15 second review of this for the souped up. Ding, 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 ding. Um, it's a London dry gin. It's going to be dry weather. We all know London dry gins make absolutely fantastic gin and tonics. Moving right along to another dry gin, Tara, which is from New South Wales. Just jumped the border. Makes it nice. Let's jump to the left. Um, absolutely made wicked stuff out of that. Um, the bogs, they're in there somewhere. It got empty in a real big hurry. Back to the second entry to. Um, from Port Phillip Surrey in the first vodka. The best vodka I've ever tasted. Sorry, Chris, I'm not blind sign trying to be bummed, dude. Um, I may like you. I certainly like your product a damn sight more. It is that smooth. If you're wanting to make up um, a cocktail or a punch of some sort and you need a whole lot of proof vodka that's not going to stick out of your um, function silly syrup, Chris's stuff is absolutely just delightful for it. Or do it as I do it. Just knead over the rocks. Just whack the sucker in the in the freezer. Leave it there for a couple of hours. It'll be ice cold. It'll be frost on the bottle, and just like I say, the whole nipple event type things. Just but I'm an alcoholic, and you're not. Now I'm going to jump into the multiculturalism. I've reviewed Indian vodkas, as in Indian vodkas made in India. I absolutely hated it. The vodka that is now is actually an, an Indian flavor inspired vodka made by an Indian in Craig event and the Desi Daru spiced vodka from Yara Y A A R A I think it means slow or something or go off and drink a lot of this stuff in um, Punjabi it's more likely means drink a shit ton of this stuff in, in Punjabi I haven't had a chance with Gargandhi that's my mistake not yours moving right along to Metang Craig at uh, Bancroft Bay his Chinaman's um, gin, Chinaman's Creek gin is just delightful. Big citrus, it's basically like drinking an alcoholic version of Southeast Asia, except it's a little bit better than the booze I've ever tried in Southeast Asia. It's got savory notes, it's got sweet notes. Just absolutely delightful. Now, if you happen to like a whiskey, do I have a whiskey for you? I've got the Tennis from Chief Sun. 
Um, well, no, that's actually a tautology because a tennis is the chief sign. It's actually one of the things in Gaelic. Um, it is a really smooth single malt whiskey from down on the peninsula, not far from the original Spirico and their delicious stuff. Um, moving right along, down that, down that, because you go to good shopping and you know all the stuff, and Christmas is getting up no further away. Um, the Reg Gin from Near Tide, try saying that when you're half cut. Um, I found it really NSC forward. It's not as NSC forward as this um, Daisy Daru, but it's certainly there's plenty of NSC in there. Now, going up to the northeast of the state, turn to the left, in my case, my right, your left. Um, the lemon myrtle gin from Yak Creek. Um, it, well, you may remember, made an absolutely lethal nimble pony um, cocktail, which would be just adult version of cocktails, you know, adult lemonade. But the more needs to be said. And now the one I forgot. And forgive me, Mick. Oh, forgive me. Forgive me, Mick. Okay. The um, brandy custard from Imbue Distillery. Now, I reviewed it last year and thought, God, this is pretty wicked stuff. Now, I went to the local producers' night up at Norton Distillery. There was Imbue, there was Nort, there was HM, where I got this wonderful stuff that I'll review very shortly, and there was King Lake Distillery. Now, Mick had um, this year's um, brandy custard. We could provide examples, I just kept on grabbing his bottle going, Mick, shake the bottle, shake the bottle, Mick. Um, I assure you, an extra year in the cask has not hurt this at all. The brandy is, it's just better than last year, and last year's was fucking good, Mick. Um, also, they've tampered with the recipe a little bit, and I wouldn't say I like it, but I'm getting five bottles, and I could bottle up that to six, because I know a couple of people who I think would more like to put away two bottles. It is absolutely stunning. Um, I think, yeah, drink it ice cold over ice cream, um, this is just going to take the pain of being around extended family away for, you know, from just hanging around these people. These are the 11 gins of Christmas. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe button. Um, and, of course, we all know that this is all kosher, so it's um, also Hanukkah. Aha, da -da, two for one offer. Subscribe button, people. And I will do my best for um, well, Valentine's Day. That's what you do. Guys, that's what you do for Valentine's Day. Never mind. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Go off. I've just saved you a whole lot of worries about what to get people for Christmas.